Before using the product, please check whether the accessories and consumables are complete. Make sure you have the following items. One, plastic sample collection spoon. Two, two sample collection tubes with preservation fluid, labeled as number one and number two. Three, two sample collection papers. Four, biohazard bag. Five, sample return envelope. If any of these items are missing from the kit, do not use the kit. Refer to the instructions for return and contact information before using the kit. Do not collect your samples if you have diarrhea or blood in your urine or stool. For example, from bleeding hemorrhoids, rectal bleeding, menstruation, or bleeding cuts on your hands. Collect the sample on a day when you will be able to return the sample within 24 hours after collection. Keep out of reach of children. Following the instructions, wash hands thoroughly to start sampling. Step 1. Raise the toilet lid and seat. Open the package and take out the sample collection paper. Peel off the protective films on the sample collection paper to expose the adhesive strips. And place and stick the adhesive strip of the sample collection paper over the toilet rim. Make sure that the sample collection paper is curled downward, leaving enough space for the collection and keeping stool away from your body. And make sure that the sample collection paper does not touch toilet water. Step 2. Open and take out the sampling stick from collection tube number 1. Leave the sample collection paper in its place. Do not lift the toilet seat. Hold collection tube number one with the blue flat cap facing up and turn the cap counterclockwise to open the collection tube. Take the attached sampling stick out of the collection tube. Step three. Collect the stool sample with the end of the collection stick and put the sample into collection tube number one. Scrape the surface of your stool sample until the stool covers the end of the grooved part. Ensure that only the grooved part at the end of the sampling stick is covered. Put the sampling stick back into the collection tube. Screw the cap shut by turning it clockwise. If the cap is not closed and tightened properly, the liquid could leak out of the tube. Put the tube aside for now. Step 4. Place collection tube number 2 on the tube stand. Close the sample collection kit. On the top of the lid, find the circle marked as tube stand. Take collection tube number two and puncture a hole in the middle of the circle and place the collection tube on the tube stand with the red cap facing up. Open the tube by turning the red colored cap counterclockwise. Hold the tube with your other hand if needed. Step five. Collect the stool sample with the collection spoon into collection tube number two. Use the collection spoon and collect one full spoon of stool sample from two or three different areas on the surface of the stool. Insert the spoon with the stool sample back to collection tube number two, which was placed on the tube stand. Push the spoon towards the bottom of the collection tube to ensure the sample is fully submerged in the preservation fluid. Press on the top of the spoon handle to detach the spoon from the spoon handle. Gently pull the spool handle out of the collection tube. The spoon handle can be discarded. Step 6. Close the collection tube. Screw the cap shut by turning it clockwise. If the cap is not closed and tightened properly, the liquid could leak out of the tube. Gently pull the closed collection tube out of the tube stand. Flush the toilet along with the flushable sample collection paper. Step 7. Return the collection tube with the stool sample. Place the collection tube into the biohazard bag. Seal the biohazard bag and put it into the sample return envelope. Follow the return instructions and refer to contact information to return the package. Make sure your stool sample is returned within 24 hours after collection.